Oh, hello. There you are. Good. I'm glad you're here. Right then. <clears throat> Remember last week, I thought there's a little 10 minute job there. Pop this old gator off on the Ace Ram. Pop a new one on. It's only a couple of nuts. Should be okay. Well, that was last week. And since then, the job has gone south. Apparently, what I should have done was disconnected the anti roll bar here and loosened the other side, which is just over there. And then that would have probably give me enough room to move the long arm away from the ram. Unfortunately, I didn't. And just instead disconnected the ram, shoved it back in. Right, I have to now get it back out. <sighs> I'm still working on that, but meanwhile, there's some other stuff. We had to take, we had to disconnect this uh, drop link anyway, and in doing so, I found the rubber's knackered. So, that's two new drop links then. Then, that would be the bush foo bad. Okay, so now we've got to take this long arm off, which is that bit. So I'm just going to pop those two bolts out, undo that one there, undo that one, and then the long arm um, comes off quite easily according to the book. I'm going to have to disconnect that end again. I'll probably jack it up. Right, anyway. It's good, the best thing to do is get those uh, bolts cracked off before the sun comes round. Because it's summer and it's lovely and warm. So, yeah, there's no rain, no cold, no wind, so no snow, sleet. So we can crack on with the job. It's a lovely warm day and lovely warm summer in England. It's all perfectly normal. Right, best crack on then. Right, naturally, you're supposed to remove this. So, 23 year old nuts, screws and bolts. Mm, let's just see if we can do without, okay? Now, this particular bolt here, let me put the socket on the right way around, I believe is a 21mm. Is that? Right, so now. Uh, okay, I'll have to get some more leverage. Right, so Fred up.
See what we need? There's room underneath. Okay. So if you bring the bar out here, you get the leverage, but the bolt, um, the socket comes off. Right, okay. Right. So. Let's have the bar over here. Oh, I forgot my gloves. Nice, nice. The nut is 21, the bolt is 18. If that's on there. So, to be honest, I've already got it slackened, but I forgot to press record. Sorry about that. You didn't miss much. that. However, you can't get the bolt out because it hits the chassis. So, it goes there. Right. Can't beat them. Well, there was no particular position where that, that had to be in. Doesn't look like it. Nice slightly offset. Oh, it's in there now. Right now, this is a bit where the, the long arm comes out. Oh, flip it, eh? This will come out. Joy of joys. I'll have to take that nut off now. Not for just sake. Oh, 
that's an 18 as well as the dropping. Right. Don't know if you can see that or not, but that's the drop link there. Look. Uh, right. Oh dear. That's interesting. What's going on there then? I actually assumed that the long arm and the arm that this is attached to were connected. They're not. Right, they're separate. There's no key. There's no kind of key. I should have marked that before I split it, shouldn't I? I assume it's still in the same place. <sighs> now what I'm thinking now is that it's jacked up on one wheel the uh, there's no kind of keyway system to lock the this back in the same position as the shaft so if, it, if I put it back wrong it's not going to work properly um, so uh, she'll have to take the other wheel off I'm going to take it off anyway to do the drop link that will do them in pairs I bought a pair 26 pounds from economy spares uh, Uh, it's, uh, that's some kind of mark, it's not very good. It's off. Before we go any further, I'm going to have to level up this uh, suspension. Now I'm going to pop the other wheel off. Okay, I've got the other drop link off at of the top, so the, uh, the sway bar, anti-roll bar, is uh, disconnected. Now I'm going to pop it off the chassis. 
Right. Anti roll bar to chassis bolt, 813 mil. Oh, I have my gloves going around in my chuffing spanner. For goodness sake. Just going to slacken the other one. Oh, somebody's left a jack under here. Just fold out like that. That one's gone. Oh, the ball's dropped out. Like that. Well, that's quite heavy. <laughs> Woo! Right, I'm going to need some. I'll tell you what, that's a little bar and a half. Right, hang on a minute. Don't panic. That bush is completely full back. That needs to be pressed in. Um, hopefully I've know somebody that can do that. Now as soon as it's off, might as well renew these bushes as well. I'm not bothered about getting it back in alignment. Suppose if you turn it up before you put it back on. Okay, I'll have to uh, tie up my uh, my ram. It's dangling a bit. Not worth any dangly ram. Right, back in a more. Right then. So we need a new bush in here. Thing is, is this and this connected, or is it splittable? If you undo that.
Any suspects? Hmm. Well, it's going to be tight, I reckon, is it? Okay, that's tight. Obviously. Eighteen socket. Enough. Let's stand it back whenever you put it. Beautiful screwdriver. Oh, yeah, it's heavy. Right, we need to. It does come off. But it's splined. So it's a good job I marked it. Right, so this can now go, go under a bush, and hopefully have it pressed in. That's it for now. Too bad anyway. If I were knocking, you keep on knocking, but you can come in. Come back tomorrow night. Try again. Get a little screwdriver gone. How come you never find out when it's just been only 10 seconds ago?
Deeper looking at skin cream. Deeper looking at skin cream. We watched Christine the other night. Brilliant. First favourite uh, American car is it will be a 58 Belvedere. I don't like two doors, but I'll take one. I just struggle on with the seatbelts. I'm going to have to get some chisels. This is ridiculous. Have you ever noticed it's always the passenger side that's the most rusty? Driver's side. Well, actually, that's crap as well. Now I've come to mention it. It's over there. Don't forget, this is just a little sim simple 10 minute job to change a gator. Oh yeah, don't go chiseling without goggles on. You'll have your eye out. Little safety tip there. Right, that's as good as that's going to get. Right, driver's side, passenger side. So that job had to be done anyway. So all I'm doing now is stuff I would have to do in the future. I suppose. Back to the future. To one side, all right. Gonna leave set a new bush for that, so I better pop down to uh, Fine Hills. Oh, sorry, sorry, Virtue Geisley. I use the F word there, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, that's it for the moment. I'm gonna do the drop links later. The sun's coming around, it's getting a bit warm now. Mind you, it's summer, it should be warm. But uh, you don't want to be heaving about with spanners when it's like this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, right, so we'll get this bush sorted. Um, good to see you all. Um, have a good time. Enjoy the weather. Get a barbecue, but don't set yourselves on fire. And uh, don't get lost or squashed either. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a bit.